What's the code? The zero zero two one pound. God. One minute thirty seven seconds later. Zero zero two star. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ, bro. Make life difficult. So if you can't tell, this guy is in a deep depressive mood today. I'm not feeling it right Super now. Super sad. I'm not feeling it right now. What number is it, bud? Number seven. Been here how many times? Oh, number seven right here? Over there, dude. Jesus Christ. All right, boys. Hopefully, we're here to pick up a quad. My guy here has changed his mind, and it's not three. It's actually two builds now. And I don't even know if this is about to go down. So we're about to go in here and see what's up. And hopefully, hopefully this guy will sell me something. Or really at him, but. You got, you got anything to say, bro? <laughs> Just turn back. Let's go home. <laughs> If you guys haven't seen my last video that I just posted, it's the bike life video. Y'all can go check that out. But or one of the last videos I posted. But uh pretty much I went to the bike life meetup and now this guy has switched up and wants one of the quads. So he's gonna end up keeping this one. This one has the front 450 shocks that's upgraded pretty much. It's adjustable and compared to uh, the stock 400 EX shocks that are not adjustable. So he wants to keep this one. Hopefully I'm picking this one up today. Also the parts that's sitting over here. I'm here to check it out. Send my roommate, my homie Adam. Shout out to my bro Adam. I'm here to uh, take some pictures and everything and hopefully we're picking everything up today and we can settle on a price because John's been changing everything up. But we're here, let's get her done. All right, so we have finally come to an agreement for the most part. We're getting ready to load everything up. Hopefully, you take it home or not, because like <laughs> Jesus Christ, you keep, you keep talking about this shit. This guy's trying to stop me from getting some footage. <laughs> Comment below and tell him to f off. No, so uh, we're getting ready to load up the quad, load up everything. Hopefully, everything fits in my truck. A lot of these parts are obviously gonna have to go on the inside of the truck, but uh, let's make it happen. Since this guy's keeping the quad. You Quite guys better see him on the next uh, bike life meetup that not I go the to. Next one. Not not like... literally the next one, but he better y'all better see him out there one day trying to pop a wheelie and bust his ass. But he'll be there. <laughs> Get it on film. All right, so we got her unloading, got all the parts in here. We're just going through it real quick, getting ready to uh, try to get this thing started and running. Quick commercial break and a quick motocross tip. If you're not getting your cardio on and off the bike, make sure you're staying on top of your health. We're getting it in every day. Come on, let's go. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, definitely give a big fat like for the boys. Make sure you guys subscribe. And if you don't know the channel, youtube.com slash MrMex. Let's get back to the video. See what else is wrong with it. I don't really think too much is wrong, but... Uh... Obviously, it's kind of taken apart, so we just need to put some stuff back together and uh, get her going. Hopefully, we'll be ripping here in the snow, eh? <laughs> we'll see what's up. All right, boys, so our main mission today is to get this thing pretty much kind of put together. I wouldn't say necessarily running because we do have this, this go-kart that's sitting behind me that we need to get done that we've been sitting on for an easy four or five months. And... Uh, we just kind of put a little bit of money into this thing and we plan on flipping it. So we need to redo the seats on the, le the leather on the seats. We need to redo that. We need to uh, wire up a throttle cable and get a little bit of things done to the, the go-kart in order to get that done, which honestly has nothing to do with this specific video, but I'm probably going to intertwine a little bit of footage into it. Either way, though, it's not going to be too much, so hopefully you guys stick around. Give this video a like if you guys are enjoying it. But with the 400EX, we don't really plan on sitting on this too long. We just plan on doing some stuff to it really quick, and then we plan on flipping it. We've kind of already went through most of these parts. We're going to get rid of it out of the garage because it's kind of just taking up some space. We're going to keep the extra engine just in case we have any issues with the motor that's sitting on the the chassis now 
and again most of these parts and bolts and stuff that's like an entire 400 ex motor that's all just taken taken apart into pieces so we're going to get most of this stuff out of here everything that we plan on keeping for this four-wheeler we pretty much have right here with the plastics a little bit more right here and then we also have a new air filter we got some seals and gaskets and a new air filter inside that uh, that bag there. So, And then here's the rest of the plastics to this quad. So again, for the most part, we just want to try to get this thing running. Not entirely sure if we're going to get that done because we do need to get this uh, go-kart out of here as well. We plan on uh, cleaning the air box, so we're about to go clean the air box. We want to try to pressure wash this thing uh, before we really start working on it. But we need to get this stuff out of here in order to get that done. So yeah, man, just a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of this and that. And these parts here we plan on throwing on the cross cart build. So if you guys want to uh, see more on the cross cart build, that will be coming soon. But we're taking these parts from another 400DX that's pretty much from the frame and whatnot that you guys can see over there. We plan on uh, throwing these parts on the cross cart. Got some new bearings and whatnot. So should be pretty solid. Almost hard to believe, boys, but we got some snow here in Dallas. First episode of Star Lowe's Garage. Star Lowe's Garage. Hanging facts. I mean, flags. That's <laughs> up, bro. You can't say that. I don't know what's going on the interwebs. I know. Just reiterate that Matt and myself do not support that kind of language. Only here in Star Lowe's Garage. See you with the Hulu guru. It's pretty dope, actually. Thanks, no step on snack. I'm really struggling to get this up here, boy. It's not level, is it? Close enough. About as close as you're gonna get. You gotta see what our garage looks like. Your garage is straight hell. I think our garage is actually cleaner than yours right now. Hey, so. it's because you cleaned it today, boy. It's the last night. But you got more more screws, nails. All right. So back to our old uh, two seat kid cart. These are the seats. We're over here in Sterlow's garage. That's not what. Uh, getting ready to <laughs> cut some new seat bottoms and backings, and uh, then we'll rewrap all this stuff. And because it looks like trash, looks like trash. Get some new vinyl on there, and uh, have some new seats in the two seat cart. Woo! Don't tread on me, boys. Look at that rust there. Let's see, I'm not get a staple in my hand. As you can see, the condition of the plywood is pretty solid, and that's the reason that we're going to cut out some new pieces so we have a good base to start with when we go to rewrap this. You know, I'll be cool, Kogan. Thomas, pretty good. We'll probably reuse that. I don't know exactly why or how that came to be. I guess it's a Table bases I made, bro. You made those? Yeah, sure did. Don't believe you. No. Nah, but <laughs> you painted them and everything? I am power coated. You have like a little like cat's paw or something we can pry this back with? I don't know what that is. What? This guy? That don't work. Uh, Alright, you got a knife? I'd have to say she's pretty weathered. She has seen better days for sure. It's like you've done this before. Destroyed shit. Yeah. We know a thing or two because we've before seen. Before I learned how to build shit, I was really good at destroying shit. There we go. One corner down. God, that's so hard. That's what she said. Number two. Look at that. Again, may just reuse this phone. Yep. Just take a guess at what size <laughs> that is, because don't think there's going to be much template material left there. <laughs> you don't think so? No. Nah, I think she's uh, seen better days. Get a big mess as we can over here in Steve Lowe's garage. 
Alrighty boys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, give this video a fat like for the boys. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn post notifications on so you guys don't miss our new videos that's uploaded every single Thursday. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Check us out next Thursday. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy Mr. MX. I appreciate you guys. I'm out. Peace. That's a wrap.